Welcome to the Giuliani HMI Editor demonstration by TESS Electronic Solutions. This demonstration will guide you through the process of creating a complete graphical user interface from scratch using Giuliani and its What You See Is What You Get editor. This is the editor's main screen, which is divided into the menu header bar, where you can access all existing submenus from the respective dropdowns, the workspace window, which shows all dialogues within your current application, the desktop, where you can graphically edit your graphical user interface in a what you see is what you get manner. The attribute view, where you can see and modify all attributes of the currently selected object. The hierarchy view, which visualizes the hierarchical order of the objects in the graphical user interface tree. And the object selector, where you will find a list of all available objects that you can add to your graphical user interface. Let's start off by creating a new project. Choose a name for your project, for example, My Project, and specify its location on your hard drive. Now we will add our first dialog. Choose a name, for example, Main, and define its dimensions in pixels. The new dialog has been added to the workspace window and you will notice that it is also visible in the object hierarchy view as the root object. The desktop window still appears to be empty since the dialog does not have any visual features, for example a button. We will therefore add an image to it which shall serve as a background. The image object has been added to the dialog and is represented by a placeholder image. It also appears as a new child of the dialog in the hierarchy view and you can see all of its attributes here. We will now change its appearance to something more interesting. This is the image resource window. It shows all images available in the current workspace and allows you to add new ones. We shall now import a new image from disk. It is automatically assigned a symbolic name by which it is now accessible. We select this new image and it is now visible within the desktop. By clicking into the attribute view, we can directly type in new dimensions for our image object. We will create another image, assign the Giuliani logo image to it and place it in the upper right corner of the dialog. As you can see, you can also drag and resize the object using the mouse. Adding a button is done the same way. You will notice that a button has a lot more attributes than an image. For example, there are separate images for each of the button states and there are attributes describing, text label and much more. We change the button's graphics by assigning images to each of its states. You can execute your newly created graphical user interface as a standalone application at any time simply by selecting Run Simulation. What you see is now an actual Giuliani application running completely independent of the editor. While the graphical user interface is already visually appealing, it still does not provide any functionality. We can change this by assigning a command object to the button. Clicking on the respective attribute opens a selection window from which we pick the quit command. By running the graphical user interface simulation once again, we can now quit the application simply by clicking on the button. As you can see from the workspace window, we have added a few more buttons to the graphical user interface and also another dialog. By selecting one of these buttons, we can then assign a load dialog command to it. This command has three parameters which are now also visible within the attribute view. The dialog file name attribute allows us to enter the name of the dialog to which we want to switch to when the button is clicked. 
Since we also want to delete our former dialogue when switching to a new one, we need to do two things. First, we give our current dialogue a symbolic name called Object ID in Giuliani. Next, we enter this name into the Delete Object ID field of the switch command. When we click the button, the command object will load the new dialogue and also delete the previous one. The simulation now shows how we can switch between our dialogues. Animations in Giuliani are usually implemented inside dedicated controls. For this example, we will be using the Center Focus Container control. The Center Focus Container will animate its child objects in such a way that the currently focused object is centered on a predefined position. In this example, we will set this position to the center of the screen. By simulating the graphical user interface, you can now see the animation in action. You can easily change an animation for your screen simply by attaching the respective objects to a different animation container. In this case we will remove the buttons from the center focus container, create a carousel object instead and attach the buttons to that. The carousel object arranges its children in a rotating 3D wheel. We can adjust the wheel's radius and tilting angle as required. At some point of development, you may wish to deploy your graphical user interface on the actual target system. To do so, you choose the editor's export feature. This will create all required XML files and header files, along with all the necessary images and other resources, and place them in a folder of your choice. The export screen also allows you to choose configuration values, such as the default image and language sets, to use during the startup of the application as well as an optional resource directory, which is useful if you wish to place the resource in a specific location relative to the application's executable file. This is what the export has produced. You can now copy this onto your target device next to the Giuliani runtime executable file. Starting the executable will then run your newly created graphical user interface on the target system. Thank you for your interest in Giuliani. For further information, please visit www.testbv.com.